Hey guys, how are you today? I'm so up close and in your face and personal today because I'm gonna do my first face of the day. I've actually really been enjoying, you know, watching those videos and they're pretty easy to do. So I figured um, I do a face of the day, see your reaction from it and see if you guys want more of that on my channel. So um, I'm not good at this because this is my first time, so bear with me. But for starters, I moisturized my face with my regular moisturizer right now. I I'm using I don't have it it's in the bathroom I'm using um, a Clinique moisturizer and then for my foundation I actually put foundation on today I'm using the Rimmel stay matte in the color 300 sand and I'm actually trying to finish this stuff up it is pretty good it leaves a good finish on the face the only bad thing is is that um, I don't think they make this anymore the stay matte formula from Rimmel I know Rimmel makes other foundations, but they're not making this specific one anymore. So that's kind of bummy, but this is about halfway and I'm trying to finish it. So I used it up today. And then I used my concealer, which I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer, which is pretty cool because it's in stick format. My specific color is in deep. I got this on clearance at CVS. Um, actually this I got at clearance also so pretty much everything I've been using I got on sale and um, I know they still make these I just don't know if they make this specific color anymore but it's extremely creamy it is a tad bit a tad bit dark for my skin tone but once I blend everything in together you really can't tell um, concealer is very important to me because I have a lot of blemishes I've had this makeup on for a while I've had it on for maybe two or three hours now but um I do have really extremely dark, dark blemishes. So some of them do still go through the concealer, but my face without it would be even worse. And then what I do is I set my entire face with this Milani Multitasker Face Powder. My color is in the, um, is in 05 Tan. And I actually really like this stuff. Like I got it, I've been using it, I wanna say for about two or three weeks straight now. I've been using it that you can tell that it has like an indentation in it from the design and it's pretty much like all gone now and I've only been using it for a little while and it matches my skin tone really well. I feel that it leaves a really good finish no matter what I use because if you want to know the honest truth, I don't really use foundation too much. I use the Garnier BB cream, but no matter what I put foundation or my Garnier BB cream, this goes over it perfectly. So I have this as my setting powder on top and then I went in just to give my face some dimension, you know, so it wouldn't look flat. I go in with the e.l.f. bronzer, uh, blush and bronzer duo in the, um, the bronzer color, which you could tell I love because it's pretty much gone. This I don't really touch this part. Yeah. So I pretty much go around here. I go in this part and it works really well. I really been enjoying that. And then I went in with my blush. Um, this is actually, I don't think they sell this blush anymore. This is the Mac, uh, chic cup, uh, chic couple. And if you guys could tell there, it really had two colors. It had like a, it has a bronzy color, which is with the majority of the color that I have left. And then it had a very like rosy pink color, which all of that is pretty much gone from it. So I'm trying to finish this up also. That's why I used it, but it's called chic couple from Mac. So I have that on my cheeks after I applied my bronzer. And then what I did is I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows. As you guys know, this is my dynamic duo. I went in with my um, Maybelline master shape little pencil in um, deep brown. And then I went in with the last color here in this Milani brow kit the brow two color and I went ahead and I filled in any um, little spots that I saw that needed some help there. Now as for my eyes, I put the Urban Decay Primer Potion on. This was the only primer that I put on and then I went in with this quad that I used for the first time. This is the L'Oreal Hips Studio um, Secrets Quad and I actually love these things and this is in 510 Electrified. This is the first time that I use it. I own a lot of these little things and I put pretty much this color all over my lid and then I went in the crease with this beautiful purple color. So that's what you're seeing there. I mean, I didn't do a ridiculous look of makeup today. I pretty much kept it simple because I was pretty much in a rush. So that's on my eyes. And then I used a a pencil that I got in my My Glam bag a couple months back. I got this Marabella eyeliner and I just did a really thin line. I didn't really wing it out or anything like that. I just pretty much lined my eyes on the top with this and I used my Stila Kajal eyeliner 
And this is an onyx, if I'm not mistaken, but I pretty much have it down to an itty bitty little thingy there. And I use this on the waterline because it's extremely, extremely creamy. So it's great for my waterline. And then of course, for my mascara, I used a duo also. I'm using this little sample of Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara, which the wand looks like this. And it works pretty well. Like I can actually use this one on my bottom lashes as well as my top. So I use this as my first coat and then I went in with the Rimmel Scandal Eyes, which I'm trying to get rid of because I don't like it. But I used it as a second coat to my eyelashes. So this together works pretty well. I used that today. Then I put um, my highlighter on just a little bit, my Mary Lou Manizer Luminizer from The Bomb. Love this stuff. I put a little bit here and a little bit over my cheeks works well gives me the perfect little subtle glow love it and for my lips which i was that was my whole point of the look i was pretty simple and then i was like i just want bold lips i use this um l'oreal crayon in clear transparent so that my lipstick doesn't feather out i use this one all over it's just clear because honestly i didn't have a lip liner that was this color and i went to walgreens yesterday last night to go to the red box to grab a uh, spider-man and some other movie for my kids and I was of course I gotta go down the makeup aisle just to check and I ran into this um black radiance I've never owned anything from this brand before regular price it's not expensive it was $1.99 but they have the stickers for 99 cents and I really wanted to get a brown color for my lips I've been getting all these reds but I haven't gotten browns and this is more of a brownish red if you see it right there so I was like, hey, for 99 cents, I'll give it a try. It actually works really well. I've had it on my lips right now for about three to four hours and I haven't touched it up at all. And it's going strong. So I really like it. I've gotten tons of compliments today. I got dressed, I went out and I've already gotten three compliments on the color of my lips. So this is actually working really well. And that's pretty much it guys. And of course, let me grab it because I forgot. I sprayed my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray all over my face and I was out the door. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of these products that I used, of course, leave me questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And if you guys like these face of the days, they're extremely easy. I get dressed anyway, and I'll be more than happy to do them. But of course I want your input. I want to know what videos you guys like to see because people love, I did like one empties video and that like blew up. Like everybody was like, I love them, do them. And if I don't do my empties video, people are telling me like, where's your empties video? If, if they see it's like the second, third of the month and I have yet to put out my empties video for the month. So I enjoy doing my empties video for you guys because I know that you guys look forward to them every month. So I just wanted your input on faces of the day and see if that's gonna be another you know video that I'm gonna be doing very frequently. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and as always, take care. Love you guys, bye.